Hi, this is Dr. Ralph with Natural Living and Wellness, and today we're going to talk briefly about water and what water means to your body. And I've really been interested in water, and one of the reasons is because when you're a baby, 78% of your body is water. Even as a senior adult, 65 to 70% of your body is still water. So by far, water is the number one ingredient in your body. And depending on the kind of water that's in your body, that's going to determine how the chemical reactions in the body take place. It's possible to drink lots of water and still be dehydrated. Just as it's possible to eat lots of food, but if your digestion's messed up, you can still be malnourished. Or it's possible to get many hours of sleep, but if your brain waves don't change and allow for certain kinds of repair to happen, then you can still wake up tired or you can still wake up and not have repaired very well while you were sleeping. So it's not always the quantity, but it's the quality as well. Most Americans are chronically dehydrated, and most Americans, when they come in contact with water, come in contact with water that really isn't biologically friendly. One of the ways that you come in contact with water without realizing it is when you do things like shower or bathe. And what I mean by not realizing it, what I mean is, is that, do you understand that when you take a bath, just a 20 minute bath, your body will absorb about two quarts of the water you're sitting in. Unfortunately, most of the tap water today is still being processed in the very same way that it was being processed with the same technology from 1904, where we chlorinate the water. Now, though it's true worldwide, one of the biggest reasons people have diseased states is because they're not being able to receive very clean drinking or bathing water. So worldwide, waterborne disease is still one of the number one killers. However, in this country, we have a more insidious problem. We've kind of done away with the short-term problems of water by chlorinating it, but chlorine itself is a very toxic poison. Chlorine has a tendency to bind with many other compounds that would otherwise be inert, and they form something called trihalomethanes. Now, as a group, these are very potent carcinogens, and when they enter the body, once they form, they don't like to disassociate very easily. And so even if you're not drinking tap water, but if you are showering or you are bathing in tap water and the water is unfiltered, you're still being exposed at a very high rate on a daily basis. Um, these are some of the books I've gotten recently. I tend to grab a lot of books. It seems like every other day I'm ordering something from Amazon.com or going down to the bookstore and picking up new books. I'm very interested in water. And I'll tell you, the more you read on the subject, the more interesting it is because it's a much broader subject than you would think, at least on the surface value. But I want to share with you um, one of the ways that you can protect yourself when you shower is you can go out and you can buy a shower filter. Now, this one happens to be from a company called uh, Sprite Industries. You can buy this on the internet. Type in Sprite Industries and you'll be able to navigate for it. Uh, this particular unit has a handheld device. The cartridges actually fit inside the hand device, right inside the handle. And they'll last about three months pretty easily. And then you can just swap them out. You can buy packets. They come in packets of two. It's roughly, I think, about 18, 20 bucks for a packet of two. And it gives you at least a level or a, a measure of insurance against reducing the chlorine and the amount of exposure that you get by chlorine. If you do jacuzzis or you do hot tubs, or if you're a person who likes to take very hot showers, sometimes you'll walk into a jacuzzi area or you'll walk into a hot shower. And what you'll do is you'll actually smell the chlorine. If you're smelling the chlorine, it's now in the form of a gas. And as a gas, it's many, 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 many times more potent than chlorine would be in solution because it's going directly into the lungs and then into your bloodstream. So you want to avoid even the gas states of chlorine. In addition to that, chlorine kills bacteria. That's one of the reasons why municipalities will use it. It kills bacteria, but you have to understand that you also have bacteria in your gut and the bacteria in your gut there's beneficial bacteria is what's needed to help digest foods. So for that reason, bathing or drinking in a lot of chlorinated water, the chlorine kills indiscriminately, and it will also kill some of the good bacteria in your gut, which is chlorine, by the way, is one of the main reasons people get leaky gut and why they just start developing bowel distress. So you want to lower your chlorine intake if you have digestion problems, and you also want to just lower your chlorine intake in terms of general health as well. It's easy to do. You don't have to get these shower filters. These are just some examples, some of the ones that I have on my showers. You can get whole house filtration systems, which will do much more. And the, trust me, we didn't cover everything you needed to know on water in this simple talk. 
I just wanted to alert you to the fact that chlorine is a poison and if you're constantly exposed to it, you're going to have health issues. And if you want to regain your health or you want to maintain the health that you have, you want to start lowering the chlorine content inside your life or in the life of your loved ones. Not hard to do. A simple shower filter will at least give you a level of protection. A whole house system would be even better. So just go online, type in chlorine, do a little research and you'll find out these things to be true. For today, that's Dr. Ralph with Natural Living and Wellness. Thanks for joining us.